So in the banks, I do believe there is this barrier that they are looking at AI only as a perspective of, oh, this is a very futuristic product. This is very futuristic. It's not for today's problem. But actually, there are many tools, like I just said, that solves today's problem for your employees in the bank. And, and you, you, you need to unlock it for them so that they can actually improve the productivity and have a better performance for you. That, that's one perspective of it. And I, the other perspective is obviously the legacy systems and the challenges that you have in your architecture as, your, as a bank. So if you're a bank that you're still not on the cloud, cloud in the sense of public cloud, private cloud, right? Then, then you do have a challenge that you, you will be like basically very hard for you, right? How, I mean, it's possible, it's not impossible, but it's, it's really, really like really difficult. And if you don't fill this gap faster, then the gap is just becoming bigger and bigger between your bank and a bank that is already on cloud. Because if you're a bank now, right now on cloud, for your uh, problem right now is to define the business use case for AI. That's it. That's the challenge that you have. What's your business use case? But if you are not on the cloud, then you can't discuss too much about AI capabilities for your services.